Welcome to Suburban Living. This is Ed. We're making a short video today trying out this new Supercat stove. Just a fancy feast can. Just a hole punch. Walmart hole punch to make it. What I'm going to do is take uh, this can. I've got measured out one ounce of heat. That is heat in the yellow, uh, the yellow bottles from Walmart also. And I have just uh, two cups of water in one of these uh, stainless steel cups. Just uh, see how good it works. Going to try it out. So stay tuned. Okay, welcome back. I've dumped one ounce of heat. That is the yellow bottle of heat into this stove. A moment ago when I filmed that first section, I held up this little measuring cup here. And then I got to looking at it. And it says two TSP. It's teaspoons, not tablespoons. And so I started this with two teaspoons instead of two tablespoons. In fact, two teaspoons is not even half of an ounce. And so I had to redo it after that burnout. And I just uh, put in the proper amount of fuel, about one ounce of, of heat. Uh, two tablespoons makes one ounce the equivalent there and so everything cooled down i have my water that's about room temperature it ran out of my uh, tap there and i've got this going and just as soon as this gets uh, hot enough to uh, bloom we're going to put that pot on there and i'm going to start filming i'm going to see how long it takes to boil two cups of water in this stainless steel cup and then how long it'll it'll continue uh, boiling I'll tell you, it burned about three minutes after um, I put in the, the two teaspoons. So uh, we'll see. Just stay tuned. I'll get back with you just as soon as we get that cup on. Okay, the cup is on. We're going to let this, uh, let this uh, come to a boil. And I'll get back with you and we'll see what type of time we're looking at. Okay guys, we are just a little over five minutes. It's not to a, a rapid boil at this point. Certainly hot enough to make uh, coffee or something like that. Now something else I wanted to mention that there's no lid on this cup. If this were my titanium cup with the lid on it, it would probably already be at a rapid boil and it's not yet at this point. And so it would certainly be more efficient if we had a lid on the cup. We're still burning strong. I don't know how much fuel is left in there. I still have the timer running. And probably most people wouldn't consider that a rapid boil yet. That's what I would call boil when I'm making macaroni and cheese or something like that. But we'll let it go a little longer and, and get it to a more rapid boil. Okay. 620 and that's certainly a rolling rapid boil and we're still burning so we're going to see how long this is going to burn and I'm going to keep the timer running that way we get some kind of idea in case we wanted to cook something in there a little longer Okay guys, looks like about 8.45, flame just went out, just went out, but that uh, two cups of water with no lid came to a boil, boiled there for at least a couple minutes, so I think that's uh, pretty good, that is one ounce of heat, and that is heat in the yellow bottle, I just put it in this uh, little little container here that might hold say say four ounces three or four ounces just to carry a little easier on perhaps a day hike or overnight or something like that I'm pretty pretty pleased pretty impressed Let's see if I can burn myself here pretty impressed with the little stove now still a little warm not too bad I can actually pick up that pick up that stove that's amazing how quickly 
that thin metal cool down. I can hold my hand right on it tightly there now. And it was just burning just a couple minutes ago. I'm not going to try it with that one. And so I'm pretty pleased, pretty impressed with the little Super Cat stove. And so I think I'm certainly going to be taking that along with me on some hiking trips. And maybe even just a little bigger bottle. Something where that's packable like that. Alright, thanks, uh, thanks for watching. Um, another video on a, on a Super Cat stove. There are a million of them on YouTube. But I thought I would just do a little experiment there for, for my own purposes. Uh, you have a great day.